I really, I really thought that would have been a gold. What, what am I getting bronze for? It seems like taking damage and doing damage is, is gold. Is it just how long it takes? Looming Sage. Is revenge not all you desire? I know the one who destroyed your world. I know the one who destroyed your love. Who? We still have the crappy stop-motion cutscenes. I'm here for it. I don't even care. That's great. Um, yeah, things not great. Could you talk to your boss and, and, and get my wife back, please? It is what it is. Jean's gonna wander Inferno suffering for eternity. Yeah, that's not gonna do it for me, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say I'm, that's gonna be a no from me, dog. Tell me what I already know, She's pulling the gun right out. You're not the kind to let that sort of summon go out of control, Bayonetta. Something's up. The balance of powers that keep things in check don't feel right, does it? You know, she's pretty hot for a dead chick. I changed my mind. I no longer want to rescue Enzo from hell. She was in the realm of the living. But looking at her now? Nah, still not a fan. <laughs> she's not dead, Enzo. Her soul is just in hell. You only really did after your soul's been completely absorbed into another realm of the Trinity. Oh, then we actually probably have a decent amount of time, because because I don't see no way to save the soul. She could probably fend for herself for quite some time. What about the gates? The real gates of hell. I can't stop you from trying to use them, but I don't think you got a chance down there. I'll see what I can do about putting her on ice for a while. Why did we have to make her naked? She was wearing clothes when she when her soul got separated. You're kind of alive in this world for eternities. Should keep her body in this realm stable, but you'll need to reunite this with her soul if you're gonna try and bring her back. I figure you got about a day before it's game over. That's not giving her too much credit, I don't think. To be fair, I don't know how intense hell is, but if Enzo, the idea is for Bayonetta to go fight her way through it, then what? presumably Jean can no. also defend herself, no, because Jean is no, 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 no. being controlled by no. the computer and thus I even better at the game I than I am. The situation. Could you know what today is? My kids got cookies baked for me at home! I did not realize this was no, going to be a Christmas game, but I love I still it. Gotta play Santa tonight. Let the real Santa take care of the present. Now let's go. Wait, is this implying Rodan is hey, actually I Santa? Can't we bring along Rodan instead of Enzo? No, because then Enzo would be looking after Jean's body, and I don't want that either. Fine, fine. And I would prefer Enzo to Luca. <laughs> Silver. Yeah. Okay, so the first time we played through this game, we got one bronze, and it was this weird kind of just save statue. And then as we progressed, it turned into a different character. So I wonder what silver generally corresponds to, and presumably it's a character we just haven't met yet. So maybe it's Spooky Sage, Spooky New Sage, whose name I think I actually do know, but in case it's a spoiler, I won't say it. Um... But yeah, generally they're actual established characters, but if we haven't met the characters yet, then I, I think we just get this. Platinum is Bayonetta, obviously. Gold is probably Jean. And then bronze, so, and then silver. I guess silver's not Rodan. I think silver is Rodan. No, silver's Luca. Bronze was Ceriza, and then Enzo was Stone. I imagine it will still, I imagine it's gonna be mostly the same except Bronze and silver might get swapped up a little bit. Anyways. Maybe Rodan was gold? Maybe there wasn't John. Um, I got a bewitchment because the prologue is completed. Chapter 1, Noatun, the city of Genesis. Do we... 
ever get to... Mm, no, interesting. We don't get to go to the title screen. Uh, the, the Sorry, we do. We could go to the title screen. We don't get to go to the uh, shop in between levels. That's different. Also, I can't tell if that's... It looks... It appears to be a black hand. I don't know if that's um, Rodan. I don't remember him wearing those particular bracelets, but I'll next time I see him, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. The sacred mountain of Fimbleventer. The joint supposed to be the link between Inferno There's not a place Paradiso. called Fimbleventer in the United States. Oh, we're flying from the United States. Okay. The gates of hell. Somewhere on this mountain. No one knows where, though. Hell, no one even knows if it's true or not. The only reason this overgrown rock is worshipped like some god in the first place is that no one's ever been able to get close to the damn thing. We're going to Mount like Fuji? It's like you there. Every climber ends up stranded or worse. And don't even try to fly a plane near that place. I've got to move! But at least your soul doesn't have a long walk to whichever No, we switched planes in Japan. Up, right? I'll wait for you in no until at the foot of the mountain. Just hurry up with whatever it is you gotta do and get back there, all right? And the hotel's going on your account. With a mini bar too. Gotta oh, we're going into Kyrgyzstan. Forget about it. Those miniature drinks. I don't know. Don't like no, stop that, please. <laughs> of course. Of course she's up there. I didn't know the in-flight service was exclusive to fat Italians. Ridden the plane ain't free, you know. That reminds me, you owe Alex the kid for the charter. Oh, shit! Bayonetta 2. That, that cutscene was not worthy of getting the title card, I wouldn't say, <laughs> but that's fine. There it is. That's Fibblebit. Such a bad place when you look at it. Oh, but you gotta have a death wish to get close to that damn place if you ask me. No one did ask you, but that's Isn't fine. Isn't it heebie jeebies? What the hell? Where did these clouds come from? It's a very movie thing specifically that doesn't happen in real life of like someone checking their flask, feeling that it's empty, and then like holding it upside down to double check that it's empty it's like you you know it's empty man wait who was flying before you what i just assumed he was flying it was that tiny little biplane on autopilot what was that good save Okay, I gotta say, this is a beautiful starting town. I like this. This John, looks very nice. Just behave yourself for a bit longer. Oh, Jean's not one to behave, Bea. We better get on our way. Water capital of Noah time. No, I mean... It seems that nothing has affected the human world at this point. People are going about their everyday lives. No need to worry about them slowing me down. And then, cool, I get Panther... Yeah, I have Panther out of the bat. Awesome. As... <laughs> as indicated by the instructions, but these are the residents of Noah time. As long as I remain in Purgatorio, we won't get in each other's way. Which is a, a, a component that was not fully explained in Bayo 1. I just kind of had to pick up on that. The tall sage statue stands in the tranquil sea. Its silent presence alone suggests witches and sages had a part in the city's past. Very cool. Oh, you can't hide that witch grave from me. <laughs> No matter the place, children always seem so innocent. When I, while I'm in Purgatorio, I can't come into direct contact with them, but that doesn't mean I can't give them a good scare. Pow, 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 pow. I got a baked gecko from scaring that child to death. Uh, it's a concocting component. It is useless by itself. No, they didn't seem that scared. People in Bayo 1 freaked out way more when I, you know, shot bullets next to their eardrums. 
Yeah, that was okay. Okay, all right. He's 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 had a big deal. Cool. Anyways, I got a yellow moon lollipop, and that's the barrier one that I never used. Oh, she doesn't like the water. It's not instant death, but she clearly doesn't like it. Oh, a crow! I'm a crow. I'm gonna get the crow. Come on back, crow. Cool, and there's no cutscene. There's just a little thing in the, in the top corner. That's probably smarter to speed things up. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, this this little town is gorgeous. Also, does, does, does Panther have a new little moon insignia over the shoulder? I feel like that's new. That's cool. John will understand if I go sightseeing a little bit. It's very pretty here. She understands this. A tall witch statue stands in the tranquil seats and presses alone because the witches and sages have problems in the city's past. Same thing as before. But with a witch this time. The sound actually sounds a little bit more muffled for the panther this time, which is a little bit weird. A book! A new beginning, a fragment of a memory that somehow escaped from the notebook it was written in. That's a cool little description of, of the collectible. A fragment of memory that escaped from the notebook it was written in. I love that. For reasons I will not get into here, I've dedicated my life to searching for the search of the turn of the witches. Working backward from the legends these women left, and I gave me a vigrid. I ended up getting myself involved in a crazy tale of my own in vigrid. My fascination for witches is not wane. Far from it. But I wanted to grow more, and I grew restless in the investigative trail and went to know a ton. Not five minutes of town, I was shocked to see something confirm my suspicions. What a sight I was to behold. There was a statue of these two things. Wild. What are these bewitchments I hear about? Are they just achievements? Do I get anything cool for them? Hey, I'm a crow. Cool, maybe I'll find out more about that, but it looks like don't really get anything cool from that. That's fine. Um, yeah, I didn't go far out into these guys last time. I'll, I'll try to speed through it. But yeah, we have Pegasi. Um, uh, solemnly place the souls of the dead upon its back and carry them away, ignoring their past deeds and any pleas for a second chance. Good lord. Um, ba -ba -bum, second spear, sixth rank of the hierarchy, orders on the front lines. Um, often depicted as hideous creatures, but in reality the feature is meant to be a divine wit for binding evil from its with its unwavering faith. Seems like the second paragraph generally has some co more cool lore than the first one, but I'll, I'll make sure to look through both. So demons and infernal demons are different things. Good to know. That's that's not helping uh, 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 me keep all the D and D things straight as well between infernal and demon stuff. Infernal's devils. Abyssal is demons. That's what it is. Perfect. Um, hailing from the demonic wood of Johnson Forest, taking the form of a dragon, it's fierce, and everything is prey. It's territorial, most likely to be found alone. A little doggy, a labolus, a beloved pet dog. Oh, it wandered into hell, but he's okay. He's doing well, and now he's a good boy. A demon taking the form of a woman who left this world under unfortunate circumstances. If Conjurer were to sign a contract and trade her soul... The demon would impart upon her enormous power and great wisdom. I would have assumed Madama Butterfly refers to, like, Bayonetta's demon form on account of the butterfly shadow. But that looks more like the creepy uh, lip licker from the cutscene, from what I can see and tell. I don't know. Anyways. Alright, that's it for... Wait, no, uh, sign, 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 sign. Welcome to Noatan, the city at Paradiso Zoostep. It's written in large letters, along with the guide to the city. Oh, that was the most boring possible thing it could have been, but okay. Still got that double jump. Still slightly hard to control, too. Alright, do I get a little... Yeah, when I passed by the sign, it, it told me there was something to look at. Yeah. Sorry. The sign describes the beautiful glass-like surface of the city square and the statue of God that stands before it. Alright, is it water? Is it just really clean? It's water. Cool. This is very pretty! I lived in, I lived in a little town that had something like this once. It was about a 
twentieth of the size of this, but um, very cool little 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 feature to have in the middle of the town square. I, I, I really dig that. It's like I said, it's a very pretty town. I got a green laurel. I feel like it's different from some of the other stuff I've gotten in Bayo One, but all right. Book. If you're going to spit in the face of God, you're probably going to incur some of his wrath. That's just common sense. But still, I feel a little bit sorry when I hear about divine retribution. Um, number which had the resting place that carried her remains shattered into pieces and her soul flung into a rift in time and space never be saved again. That's pretty rough. I'd kill for the chance to sit down with the Lumen Sages who did that. Um, but you get a spell in the ends of the world, in the universe, and they still find a way back. That's fine. So I wonder who's writing it. In the first game, I think it was either confirmed or at least very heavily implied. What the F is going on here? That it was Luca's dad who wrote those. And I guess there's a chance it could still be that. He just came to know it's on after Vigrid, but before he died. But who knows. Seems to be a reflection of an unburned resting place, which exists in the past. That's left each of the broken pieces while this remembrance of time is visible. What? Oh, do I have to go collect all the red coins? What is this? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't even know where the fifth one was. I didn't even see it. Time's up. I can no longer see the remembrance of time. I'll try that again. I, I'll, I'll try to pay better attention to where the other one was. If those get extra difficult as the game goes on, I'll probably start giving up on them. But for now, I, I'll keep going. Um, that little beacon looks like progress, but this book is not. Have you ever heard of Gates That Connect Worlds? Very Jonathan Frakes opening to the journal entry here. Have you ever heard of Gates That Connect Worlds? It might sound like strange fiction, but the truth of these gates exist all over the world we live in. I, these, okay, Jonathan Frakes is now reading all of these journal entries. That's, what, that's what's happening now. Can't reveal who my source is, but according to them, there is a gateway that leads to a primordial world cut off from the flow of time. A place called Muspelheim. You know the stories about some guy who just randomly disappears, is gone for months, and then reappears out of thin air, as if nothing ever happened? There's a large probability that guy accidentally stepped into Muspelheim. Okay, so maybe that's, uh... Maybe that's actually a little mini-game? Like the, uh, the... Valkyrie stuff from, uh, before. What's our statue looking like here? Doesn't really look like Jubileus, although... Yeah, there's only... Uh, yeah, not really. Oh, there's also an underwater portal. That's normal. That's probably fine. Very cool, very cool. Okay, we'll try the, the eight red coins thing, and then we'll... <laughs> Tried to escape from me, my brethren, my, or my sistren, I suppose. It's just a lollipop. I, it's the green lollipop, to be fair, which is the most useful item that I ever used in Bayo One. So I should not uh, crap talk too much. All right, let's try this one more time. Yeah, see that one, two, three. Yeah, I got those three. I only see four. Am I am I crazy? Oh, did I miss one at the very beginning? Yeah, I missed one at the very... Oh, that was stupid of me. Can I get teleported back to that place? The broken pieces combined to restore the rest of Christ in its original form. Dang it. It'd be very convenient if it... Because I'm not going to engage in the mini... Sorry, this is a very, like, minor thing. It's not like it... It takes forever, but, like, that's one of those game design things where I wouldn't engage with the mini game unless I was interested in opening this chest. So just teleport me back to the chest once I'm done. Don't you run all the way back. It's a little thing, but it's the little things that count. Thank you. Okay, so, um... I think I'm gonna see if this is a mini game, and then I'm assuming the underwater portal is progress. Yeah, let's enter Muspelheim and see what happens. 
Yeah, this is, yeah, I can tell just from the aesthetic it's going to be the same thing as before. The land of origin, the gathering place of warriors, where you can test your skills with challenging battles. There are no penalties for losing, so you may repeat the name as long as you want. Um, but not if you're trying to create content for an LP channel, then you can only repeat it once or twice before it gets tedious. Uh, defeat all the enemies within time given. Yeah, let's see if we can up our time. It seems like that's the main thing my rankings are upset with. Ow! Hey! I didn't know you could do a little back kick. We did it again. I also, I, I also need to take note of the fact... Okay, it was just one enemy, I guess. And I got a Bewitchment. Um, I should take note... I do forget you get cool rewards for beating these. It's not just for the achievements. Um, that was also a cool... That's that's the first uh, breaking of the barrier we've seen. That was a nice one. But here's a little uh, Witch Heart. Witch. Okay, Broken Witch Heart means it's peace. And I assume if I just get a full Witch Heart, then that's, that's all four all at once. Um... Remember what I was going to say? Uh, the timer for time battles goes down at the exact same pace even during which time. I need to keep that in mind. Um, it'd be very easy to cheese it if you just got which time for every single hit. I understand that, but still. Um, it's, it's, it's important to know. Alright, does she hate the water still? No, she can go underwater just fine. She just really didn't like the uh, outside docks. Wait, what, what? If I was supposed to examine that, it's too late, it's too late. Maybe that was the game assumed that would be the first time I found one of those chests and that was the description of it. Too bad. I cannot panther underwater. That's a slight shame, but that's fine. It makes sense. My guns work perfectly fine underwater, though, so God bless. All right, yeah, let's see what the F this is. Sure. Sure, sure. This is really cool. I don't get it, but it's very cool. Oh my god. Okay, I, I noticed that the little squirrel thing was wearing jewelry, and I couldn't tell if that was stylization or if that was because it was like a druid. It almost looked like uh, 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 Rodan's jewelry, but that wouldn't make much sense. I don't think it's Rodan. I'm assuming it's our, our sage buddy. Oh, dang it, I didn't read it. Love is blue. Oh, that's the that's fun title for him. Oh, I don't mean to do Muspel Muspelheim. Why would that even be it's in the lore section? Dun dun dun. Strange events sometimes work their way into our everyday lives. These things are meant to be memory of God, the God of the human realm, that's specialized that could see all existence and happenings across the earth. God loved the human world, and he, his sadness was for sin. Sorry, this seems like a very fascinating lore concept. It feels like it's just meant to explain what's happening, like, from game pre gameplay perspective. When people come in contact with remnants of memory left in the world by God, the memories could see the f er, the God of the human realm specialized. The eyes could see the fate of whomever they gazed upon, their present, past, and future. God loved the human world, and his kind art <coughs> to feel sadness for mankind. He decided to commit to memory every detail of their fleeting lives, almost like you take a photo. He ended up doing it so much that he eventually forgot about them, and these records were left scattered across the earth. These are known as the remnants of memory. They usually can't be seen or felt, but the truth is these memories could be anywhere. You could be standing within God's memories right now. That is a fascinating world-building detail, and I love that. That's so cool. That's such a cool concept. That will have no relevance to the story whatsoever, but I don't care. That's just really cool to think about. Oh, it's gone. Because it was the fragment. Because it because I was in the memory of that hall being the way it used to be. And now that I'm through it, the memory is gone, and now it's just back to what it was before. When it loses its power, it seems to return to normal. Now the path is again blocked by debris. Sorry. Debris. 
we are playing, we are voicing Bayonetta after all. That's really cool. That's really, really cool, actually. Dang it, I keep forgetting the minus button is to read it. Sorry, this, this slows things down even more than just the idea of me reading all the lore. But... It looks like we missed a book already, if the timing of the if, the... if the ordering is any indication. Sometimes you come across something we lost long ago. It's been untouched, found exactly the way it was. Sometimes children even discover ruins like this, and then a circling the harbor. It seemed to be these large pools of water about the city, the ruins containing statues of witches. So they had a dev devastating tsunami hit the city. I'd be interested in taking a peek at these ruins. Um, but the water's freezing cold. I know a witch who wouldn't think twice about dancing away in that freezing water. I might come back after it warms up a bit, make a little vacation out of it. I know a witch who probably wouldn't think twice about dancing her way into that freezing water, though. Is this Luca's journal? Well, if Luca's turned into Jonathan Frakes, that makes him far more bearable, so I can get on board with that. I assume I should not fall into the giant jass. The jassive mayant pit. The massive giant pit is what I meant to say, but I am just having a day. It's weird how we're not getting enemy intros anymore. Maybe the maybe the cutscene things are only for bosses now. I'll check the journal to see if we get a little a unicorn horn cured via crystallization. It's a concocting compound. Thank you. Dang it! I didn't know if that was the last enemy or not. Mandragora root. Thank you. I wasted my umbrin. Thing. Ooh, but I get a little I get my long hair back for that. I didn't notice that. That's cool. Platinum! I was gonna say that I know this that's meant to be one of the easiest fights in the game for sure, but I was gonna say if that didn't give me uh you know a good score, then there would be then we were gonna have a problem. Just by the fact that I've only gotten silver so far. I'm glad that I am capable of getting platinum, even though obviously it's for a very easy part of the game. Also, a little another little adjustment, a little quality uh, quality improvement. Um, those chests break in way less hits than they did in Bayo One, so it's less annoying to open them. I there's there's, you know, I don't think every aspect of every single video game should just be an absolute breeze but there are certain elements of like just making things run smoother and run a little bit quicker especially in a game like this where it's meant to just like you stay in your groove the entire time like it's kind of the point of the game um doing little things like that to just make sure the game does not feel like it's slowing down at all um oh there's an extra battle over here um is a very smart move i'm glad they're doing that i think that's cool Oh boy! Oh, that's terrifying! Oh boy! I, I, I know they're, they're, they're asshole angels, but I kind of feel bad about that one. I, and I don't know that they're, I understand their torture attacks, but like, that one was terrifying. But I got a goal for that, please? I knew it wasn't platinum, but I was, I was, I was, that, was, that was not half bad. And we got a little weapon for it. it. Takes a very long time to use. Oh wait, no, that was my gun button. Rip. It doesn't replace my main weapon anymore, it replaces my gun. That's interesting. I don't think I have a problem with that, but that's a really... That, that's such a different way to balance the special weapons. That's really interesting. Demon time? No, it's Rodan time. Santa go get paid for this shit. That's probably they true. Never found that daddy wasn't coming back. Aww. Okay, he does have gold bracelets, but I still don't know if it matches up with the one that's that's turning the tarot cards. He was that good. I give you that. Hey, tell me how my babies are doing. They're behaving quite well. They found plenty of playmates here. Figured they would. Noito had some deep connections with Thimbleveder and the Gates of Hell back in its day. Wouldn't be surprised to find a few of those playmates that like it rougher than the typical bus. Anyway, 
you need any supplies, just make sure you keep bringing me these halos. And remember, I ain't here to get up in your business. My business is making things that do business. So don't come crying at me. You think you gotta do everything alone? I'm here to help. Just make sure you don't bust a cat in my ass. I mean, she just did. It's just that you're really powerful. <laughs> Thanks, man. Couldn't we couldn't have, we couldn't have done anything out out here? And now I had to, now I gotta go to you. Okay. Got it. I, I understand now. Hey, we have like a wait. No, we did have a little motion cutscenes from before, but this is a little bit more in depth. Welcome to the gates of hell. We lit our prices on fire, so there won't be hell to pay. <laughs> Come on, I gotta say some cheesy shit sometimes. You say cheesy shit pretty much all the time, and that's why I love you, Rodan. <laughs> um, only the hottest of hot items in my shop. Look for a base you can trust. Alright, so the weapons are gonna be super expensive, right? Oh, they're not even available yet. Um... This isn't the buy option, right? This is the take a look at what it does option. Um, when its wearer is attacked, which time will be instantly triggered? Is that a one-time use thing? I don't know about that. Well, let's, let's try it. I think the intention was just to give me moon orbs, but I couldn't resist. It gave me the prompt. Yeah, I'm not even supposed to do that. I'm supposed to just get hit. Yeah, that makes it... This is for someone who almost never gets hit, which is not me. I'm not that good. Um, demon youth known as the little, little devils. You should temporarily contact them, calling upon their power to attack one's foes. Sounds fun. Let's try that. I want to see what that looks like. Press and hold X and A. <laughs> we have a bunch of little tiny boys who follow us around. <laughs> How long do they stay? Okay, they stay until the orbs run out. I do like that. I do like that quite a bit. I don't have the money for it, but I do... That's <laughs> they're so cute, just a bunch of little guys. Um, a little shield, a little butterfly shield. That's cool. Um, replenish their vitality by taunting an enemy. That's fun. Um, and I think these were from the first game. While the attack is incredibly powerful, it sucks from emotional strength. Yeah, you do extra damage, but you don't get to do which time. Um, yeah, I won't lie. The, the little demon boys are are calling to me. Um. And we're in the early parts of the game where I don't feel the need to buy a ton of items, you know? Those rings spell are said to be deemed worthy of King Midas. Does this mean I get a bunch of extra money? I could buy a Witch Heart. And it might also be smart to buy more stuff now and boost my stacks so that I'm not scrambling for... I, I'm not, I'm not, like, this is a weirdly apt comparison to make, but in Bayo 1, especially when I got to the later levels, I was quote-unquote living paycheck to paycheck in that every time I visited a store, I needed to buy healing items. Whereas if I get extra, like, health now, and stuff like that, and I save for stuff like now, that might be a worthy investment in the long run, so I'm not doing that as much in later levels. So... As much as I want to save up for the little demon boys, which looks hilarious and adorable, um, I'm probably going to buy a witch heart right now, just so we we start boosting those stats. We could also buy some moves. Can't forget about extra moves. Um, yeah, and all of these moves are always the ones where I... Okay, okay, is air dodge, do we have air dodge already, or is that something we need to buy still? same price as a witch heart and I do like that. 
Because it's just extra... It's Yeah, it's just if you screw up which time you get that instead. I don't see air dodge, so unless it has a... special name that I'm not recognizing. What do you mean can also be performed in mid-air? It's a it's a attack that only works when you're in the air. I like having I like having jump kicks. I like the bats. We're gonna go straight to the bats, just because that's nice to have. Like that's one of those skills that feels like it's for beginner players, and I still consider myself that. Um, and then we might buy one of the air moves, probably after burn kick, because that one is good for whether you're right after you jump or if you're already in midair. Um, and then we'll start working on witch hearts, and then we might save up for... We'll, we'll, we will save the little demon boys for later, and we'll have some little demon boys as a treat. Yeah. 